I'm Andrea from the Doherty Art Center and today I'm going to show you how to make foil baskets from plastic bags. The foil basket technique has been around a long time used by many different cultures. Um, you've probably seen examples like this made out of yarn or straw. So we're going to put a new twist on this method today with materials that you might already have at home. So for this we're going to need some plastic bags, plastic bags, shopping bags like this work, bread bags, all kinds. We'll need scissors, a plastic yarn needle, we're going to need some rope and some masking tape. The first step is to make our plastic yarn. So here we have a shopping bag and we're going to fold it up into a long rectangle. Cut off the handles, then cut off a couple of inches off the bottom. Next, we'll cut it up into little one and a half to two inch sections. So from a bag this size, you can usually get about five or six pieces from it. So now we're gonna take one of those pieces and unfurl it and you'll see we have a loop. So we'll take a second piece and then we'll loop them into each other like so. And then pull it tight, but not too tight or else you'll rip the plastic. I find it easier to work with shorter sections of yarn, so I'll usually make a lot of sections that are only two to three loops long. So we'll make a few more sections and then you'll cut up the rest of your bags just like this. Okay, let's get started. So we have a piece of our plastic yarn, not too long. I like to work with ones that are maybe two to three loops long, that way it gets tangled less easier. Oh, so we're going to thread one end through the eye of our needle, set that aside. We're going to take our other end and we're going to loop it around near the end of the rope. So what we're gonna wanna do is start forming our coil shape. So we'll form a little loop and then keep wrapping it around. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it in this direction for maybe a couple of inches. And I like to hold the yarn in my right hand because I'm right-handed find that works easier for me and then hold the rope with my left. Okay, so a little more. Then we're going to bend this together and make this loop and then we're going to keep wrapping it so that we wrap around all the rope and keep it together. Okay, and now we're going to want to start coiling it around, start making our shapes so do a few more wraps around and then start kind of bending it in. And this can be a little tricky, but practice, you can do it. So start bending it in, then we're gonna take our needle, thread it through the hole in the center and pull it tight. All right, then we're gonna keep wrapping another half an inch or so, and then we're gonna do it again. Stick it through the hole in the center. All right, and then we're gonna keep doing that for a few more wraps. All right, and I'm getting close to the end of my yarn. And what's great about this is it's really easy to add more on. You just Grab an extra piece, loop it through the end, and keep going. And of course, loop it through your needle. Okay, so back in business. Point, 
we can start, instead of pulling it through the center, we can start wrapping it through the coil that's directly underneath. So here, I'm going to thread the needle through right there. And then I will continue on like this. Okay, so here's a basket I've been working on. So I'm gonna make a smaller, more cylindrical little basket. So I've got the base the size that I want. Now, when I start coiling it, instead of going around the side, we're going to go on top of the coil underneath and then we'll start building up the walls. So, basically same exact technique as before. You just want to make sure to keep that coil in place. So if you run out of rope, like I'm about to here, it's really easy to attach more. I just use masking tape so then you can get end of your new rope and just tape it right on. So. Those together. All right, you're good to go. And the good thing is, it'll just get covered up anyway, so you won't even see it. So I think here's a good stopping point. See, I built up the walls around a few inches. Uh, you can keep going, make this as large or small as you want. And then when you're done, you can cut off the rope and just wrap the rest of the yarn around the end to cover it up. And we're done. So those are the basics, but you can use this method to create all different shapes and sizes and even play around with different materials. Here's one I'm making out of colorful bread bags. It's going to be a big floor cushion, hopefully. Here's a giant tote bag I made, uh, even made this hat entirely out of plastic bags. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you learned something. Please check out the rest of the Doherty's videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye.